as you can see, we've got the rear seat out of the zip and over here temporarily so that I can install something I've been wanting to forever. I bought these clips like well over a year ago. They are Atwood brand pole light storage clips and I screwed them to the back of my seat. Uh, these are my, my old layout lines under the epoxy still under there so that was easy to center it up. But I mounted these five inches down from the top of this Velcro to the center of them, drew that line and then I went eight inches from my center line out so I can safely store my pole light behind the rear seat when it's not in use. But I have to remove the flag, obviously. So I've been wanting to do that for a long time. We finally got that done today. So, as you can see, we now have our little brass tag uh, screwed to the transom. Um, first thing I did was lay it out uh, off of my PolySync vinyl up here for where center was. I spaced it up about an inch and a half off the top of the white boot stripe. Uh, drilled some pilot holes and then I coated two little stainless screws and the holes in 3M uh, 5200. That's a, <laughs> a permanent sealer. Um, same thing that I installed the cut water on the front of the bow with. Every single screw and every single hole got a dab of that 5200. So I put that on the screws, ran them in, snugged it up. Of course it squeezed out, you know, around the corners and around the screw heads. Uh, one thing to note is that 5200, the 3M 5200, uh, cleans up very, very easily while it's wet with rubbing alcohol and or denatured alcohol. So a little bit of that on the rag and it just wipes right off nice and clean. But if you don't, it's, uh, it's not coming off when it cures up. So one more thing off the list. I think it looks great. with the zip again it's a little bit dusty need to take a, a little dust rag to it but uh, I got an email from the Oregon State Marine Board telling me uh, late November that I was going to have uh, to replace the tags and register the boat again uh, at the end of December you can see it expires December 31st so uh, I just replied to that email basically there was a link in that email uh, to go to the Marine Board and pay them 96 bucks and here it was about nine days later we got our brand new tags in the mail for two years uh, when I got that tag it was good for one year basically one year and six months and that's just because of the time of year that I got it so uh, these tags are good for two years now so I'm gonna get those put on that's what we're doing today and there we are relatively painless just stuck it right over the top of the old one I think I like the blue a little bit better than I did the green. So this is uh, what I've been working on for the last eight months or so, kind of in the background. Uh, replacing all of my craftsman tools with Milwaukee. Uh, so I basically replaced almost everything at home that I had in craftsman with Milwaukee. And I replaced everything I had at work that was Craftsman with Milwaukee. So, you know, I basically had doubles of everything. Everything I had, you know, at work I had at home and some. So, I took all of those Craftsman tools and I divided them up uh, between my middle and youngest son. As you can see, here's, here's a good portion of them stacked all around his little toolbox. Uh, and the other boys roll away, they're down there in the bottom of it. But uh, for Christmas, it is Christmas Eve 2019. You can see I bought uh, the youngest boy is a tiny little roll away over there. So we're going to get that assembled. But uh, yeah, just out here in the garage dinking around. Merry Christmas to uh, all my subscribers. I hope you had a fantastic year. I hope 2020 is even better for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate and comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next video whenever that may be.